Hey, welcome to Tony's Novice Tutorials. In this short video, I'm going to explain the way I stop the anti malware service from hogging all my CPU's resources. Now, if your CPU seems to be running high, this may be a problem you have. And to find out if it is, you could either right click on your taskbar and open up task manager or type in the search bar type in task manager and open it and then you could scroll down you see what under the processes tab and to see what's eating it up and here it is the anti-malware service executable it's a part of the Windows Defenders antivirus system and from what some of the stuff I've been reading it's running background checks while your computer supposedly is idle which doesn't seem to be mine must be corrupt or other people's are getting corrupt because it just keeps on running a lot of articles online tell you a way to go in here you're supposed to right click go down here hit end task check your box but operation couldn't complete I tried several ways that I found online either or it, it's I went through regedit couldn't figure out how to do it Finally, I, I found a program that'll help me. And while you're in here, it's also the msmpeng.exe, which you could do by right clicking it, click your properties, and this is the file that we're looking to stop. So after right clicking it, and you have this open, just take this and copy it. And close this you can minimize this then where you want to go is you want to go on the web to file hippo and you want to download a program called process hacker once you download that I already have it downloaded but once it's done downloading and you install it you can open it up And you're gonna get all this fancy stuff but you don't need you could collapse all this do whatever you want but all I do is go over here into this top corner and I paste that in there and there it is it brings it right up it shows you how much it's using and you can see right here this is my advanced system care and you can see my, my CPU is running a high. Now, just right click on this, click terminate. A little pop up window will come up asking you if this is what you want to do. Click terminate. And it'll still go through it. do it again there it goes it's a real stubborn program and then you go back into here and you'll see that it's gone It has been terminated. And my computer, my CPU is coming back down. This is up a little bit high because I got the movie thing open. But that's how I do it. I'll leave some. Uh, oh, these are. 
these is I've been trying to track this and there's another way I want to try to permanently disable this but I didn't get a chance to yet but I've noticed it this happens after an update because I've terminated this before and it ran well until I just got this latest update so I'm not sure if it's this one of the which one of these updates is causing this but it is an update that is causing it and I cannot find it on Microsoft so I will put these in the description and if anybody else could find anything else please comment and uh, let's try to fix this Microsoft problem thank you very much enjoy your day and I hope you like the video